And now for some more great food tips, let's head to our expert chef, Mark. And <laughs> what's on the menu this morning? Are you talking to me after yesterday's show? No. I know, you got really upset. Oh. He made some mushy peas, and while they weren't to my liking, it's probably what I should have said. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Well, other people like them, and thank you to the people that have sent in their mushy peas that they've tried at home. Appreciate it. What are we doing today? Right, so there's no peas on the menu today. <laughs> We've got chicken today, so I know you like chicken, I so hopefully chicken. you'll like this dish. Don't ruin it. So it's really, really good, really simple. Packs, packs a punch. Lots of flavour in one pot as well, which we like. Yes. We've got a chipotle creamy chicken. Yum. So we've got the chicken breast there. We've got some um, creme fraiche. We've got some yogurt, chipotle peppers, and a little bit more um, chilli sauce in there to give it a kick. Really simple. I'm going to show you how to do it a little bit later. Nice work. OK, very exciting. Great to have you with us. We're in the Beko kitchen. And Mark, you're making a dish that I've tried before, but it's with chicken. So I'm, well, you know, I'm going to like it. It is with chicken. <laughs> and you're going to do something different to it today, aren't you? Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're, we're gonna cook it all in one pot. We're gonna sear it off. We're gonna leave the chicken um, whole. You know, so you got a nice piece of chicken in there. Yep. So we've got the breasts here. Skin's off, but yes. if you want to put the skin on, you could do the skin. But it's quite nice to um, take the skin off because it's gonna cook in the saucer. Okay, cool. You're gonna hand me that chicken, aren't you? I'm gonna hand you that chicken. I'm oh. just gonna season it up now. So nice bit of salt and pepper. We've got a yep. pan on there, which is just getting nice and hot. Yep. And uh, there's the chicken. Okay, nice. There's some oil. Okay, cool. Sear away. Okay, nice. So searing, so we're just going to lock in the flavours, the juices. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you probably want to do it for like sort of four or five minutes. Um, I'd have done the other side first. Oh, well, not too late now. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was going to ask you that too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, either or, we're just looking for a nice colour on both sides. Okay, cool. You know, I'll and then that. Don't you worry, Chef. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm sure you will. <laughs> right, and then I've got some onion as well. So just going to do some fine slices. So, you know, to make a really fast recipe, um, you know, instead of getting all your vegetables out and chopping all your vegetables and then starting, I mean, you can do that in Asian stir fries because yep. it's, it's fish best fast really fast. But if you've got a recipe like what we're doing now and we're searing the chicken, you know, pop the chicken in first mm. and that's going to take sort of a good four or five minutes. You know, keep an eye on it, but then it gives you time to get everything else ready. Brilliant. You know, this speeding up the recipe. We like that. We do like that. Good right. food, fast food, healthy food. So we've got some garlic cloves. So just smash them, peel them, and we'll just roughly chop those. How's the chicken going? Well, it's getting there. I don't know, when you say you want to sear it, what are you looking for, that? Uh, yeah, 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 that's all right. That's a, that's a good base colour. OK, so you can, you can go a little bit now. darker, but definitely um, at least the minimum sort of amount of colour is you want that. Because what is colour? What is Flavour. Flavour. <laughs> <laughs> we need to work on that a bit more. <laughs> it's been three years. <laughs> There's a lot we need to work on. OK. It's all part of cooking, is it? It's just fun. And we're all learning together. <laughs> OK, so what's that, a bit of garlic? Right, yeah, a bit of, a bit of garlic, so just going to roughly chop that. Um, so we're getting the colour now. You know, if you want to spend a bit more time, or if you're going to cook for more people and you're going to have a few more chicken breasts in here, seal them all off and then you can remove them uh, once you've got a nice colour and then you can start the onions. But because we've got a nice big pan and we've got a couple of, uh, only two chicken breasts in there, I'm going to start putting the onions in there. So if you just sort of move them to the side a little bit, gives a nice little space. And then we're just going to start sort of sweating down the onions I'm going to put the garlic in as well. OK. Nice work. And it's nice and it's all going to sort of, you know, it's all going to come together. You can see there's a little bit of sort of sediment in the pan as well. You know, all the onions are going to remove that from the bottom of the mm. pan and just get all that flavour. If it's a little bit dry, you know, don't be scared. Just put another little splash of oil in if you need to. If you don't, you don't have to. Just have a look at it. That little bit of oil will just get you that nice colouring on whatever you're cooking. Brilliant. OK, good. Well, things are coming along nicely here. Yep. First part done, is it? Yep, nice first work. part done. We're back in the Beko kitchen. We need to finish off our chicken dish today. And it's time to make the sauce, Mark. It is. Right, for the sauce, we've got these chipotle peppers. Yep. So just out of a, a can. So I've separated the peppers from the sauce. So we're going to use both components. So just going to roughly chop the peppers. And we're going to pop the peppers in now. Cook down with the onions. OK, cool. Are you happy with the onions, the garlic and the chicken looking yeah. good? No, that's good. It's nice. nice. Get a little bit of colour on those onions, that's fine. And we've got a nice colour on our chicken breast, so that's, you know, that's still cooking away. Keep turning it sort of every sort of minute or two, you know, and you can build up that colour on there. OK, nice. Right, and then we'll put a little bit of sauce on there. That goes in. Right, and then I've got some chicken stock. Oh, that's got to go, hasn't it? <laughs> so a little bit of chicken stock goes in there. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> Cocking in the kitchen today. Yeah, aren't we? My goodness. Smells great, though. Yeah, shouldn't have said anything bad about me mushy peas. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I knew that hurt you yesterday. Right, a little bit of uh, cream cheese goes in now. Okay. So it's going to give us a nice sort of thick, rich uh, sauce. Something a little bit different. Right, and for an extra little kick, we're going to use um, some chipotle chilli sauce. So it's entirely up to you now how, how much you want to put in. You know, if you like it, it gives you, you know, really good mm. flavour and a nice little kick. So we can add some more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I think, that, I think well, that's enough. people like it but always, Yeah, exactly. You know? And that Cholula sauce is very good. So. Yeah, it's really nice. It's really balanced. It'll give you some great flavour. But always try it. You can always add more. It's hard to take it away. Right, I've got a little bit of creme fraiche as well. That goes in there. And we're just going to mix all that together so it... So it comes together, makes a sauce, and we're just going to cook that chicken in the sauce. So keep flipping the chicken, and we'll just turn it down and just simmer it. I've got a little bit of fresh lime as well, which I'm going to put in now. Let's just look at that sauce, you know, the colour of the sauce. You've got a nice creaminess from the cream cheese. And then just before the chicken's ready... Which will take sauce, how long, you reckon? Oh, I mean, there's quite, it's quite a thick sort of piece of yeah, chicken, so I'll just simmer that, that for at least sort of 10 minutes and then ch uh, check it. So you want to just be sort of prodding it. You want to have some nice resistance, a little spring in there. Okay, cool. And then, uh, and then we've got some natural yogurt here, uh, which we're just going to finish the sauce and just lighten it up and make it nice and creamy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Smelling and looking good. No right. mushy peas inside. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and, that's and then a little bit. Of, yeah, a little bit of parsley. We'll just chop and, and go through it, and then and that's it. You know, you can pop a lid in there. You know, if you wanted to slow the process down, you could put a lid on it, you could pop it in the oven for 20 minutes at 160 degrees, you know, mm. clean everything up, and then you've got yeah. a fantastic dinner. OK, so, Mark, this food is smelling delicious. Are you happy? Look at that. It look, looks absolutely fantastic. The chicken's cooked. We've just sliced that. Got nice lots of uh, texture in the sauce, and there's a little bit of a kick in there. So yeah, there's it is a kick. absolutely fantastic. I, I inhaled that Wait till you try kick. this. Yeah. Yeah. It looks fantastic. <laughs> Brilliant. OK, what are you going to be doing tomorrow? Right, I've got lamb ribs.